Paul's doing a bit of a brake job on his little little knee ankle orthopedic trolley there. Apparently, uh, when you lock the brake on this thing, it locks, but then when you unlock it, it doesn't move, so he's trying to get it, move it to a... Get it to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, try to get it to an unlocked <laughs> position on this side, and then the other side does just the opposite. So he's trying to get this little, little spacer, you know, bushing to... Like working on your hand brakes to a bicycle. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, it really is. It's, very it's similar. the same. It's the same damn thing. But you get a certain amount of cable creep, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put your eye out. <laughs> That's your eye out cut yourself. Yeah, cut yourself. Yeah, run that thing to your hand. Now, yeah, I gotta figure out why the other one won't freak the lot. I think for just the opposite reason. I mean, I think, you know, we can set it up and try it. Here, should we flip it here? Okay, I'm parked. And do it. Oh, no, and it didn't do it this time? No, it's still, it's still locked. Oh. Oh, oh, the the one you even fixed. That, even that released. Oh, but this one, that one's the down one. No. The down one's the one that this did it. This is the one. Okay, there. But that's the one you were adjusting. No, I was on the other. One. They the cross. One they crisscross, Paul. The cables cross. Well. Turn it up. Turn the thing over to yourself, there. Let's see. No, no, I mean, I'm sorry, over, yeah. Is, do the cables cross? No. Oh. No, they don't. Well, then what? Oh, well. See, I told you it's a mystery to me. No, but it's still <laughs> stiff. I'd say this, this needs to be looser. Either that or... But it's well, weird. It's one of those weird things. Well, what... And I ain't thought... What, what was it? Is it it a, looks like an Allen wrench, but it's not an Allen It's not an Allen wrench? No. It's kind of like a thing you got to screw some kind of a screw in there. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, because it's perfectly round. No, I. But you've yeah. got a thing with a screw head on it. Yeah, you, you got it. in there and then screw yeah, it Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen this, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it's. You can get them done lock, can't you? Yeah, if I reach back here and pull the thing up. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Which is what I've been doing all along. Well, it's not like you're driving down I-71 at, you know, 75 miles an hour and all of a sudden have to stop. Right. Yeah. Oh, we can put a little Scratched gun put. <laughs> Pardon? Scratch. Oh, it, yeah, I, I don't think it's probably like a rental car where they claim that you've damaged the car when you have it when you return it. Yeah. Yeah. Great set. Now it's working lying down. Now it's working lying down? Right. But if it's setting up, it will not work. Well, we've all known <laughs> we've all known folks that are far more productive on their backs than actually out sitting up trying to do something functional. It's, the, you know. it's staying it's staying locked. To where if it sets up, it unlocks on its own, even though it's locked. <laughs> One of those mechanical great mechanical mysteries. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not the guy to help you on this problem.
almost unlocked like it does, but it's not quite. You've usually got... it's all, usually it's like, it'll do that. Yeah. It'll open all the way up. Yeah. So it's not holding anything. But it didn't open up at all. It's, oh, 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 it only has to open up just a, I guess it only has to open up maybe about a millimeter or two millimeters. It doesn't really have to open up a huge amount, does it? Yeah. See, it's whole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet mystery of life, at last I found you. Da 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 da. I bet it was made somewhere foreign. I don't know. What's it say? It probably says on the, that I label. Don't know. Get the no, it says on the get label. The it probably foot. says on the label. That tells you how much weight you can oh, do. How much weight? 100, 139 kilograms, or oh. 300 pounds. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that might, that might uh, work for about half the population of uh, the Walmart. <laughs> the Walmart crowd. <laughs> <laughs> there, weren't, uh, there weren't too many of those in there today. Well, just to make it official, hello YouTubers. This is uh, Joe and Paul here on uh, January 7th, Wednesday, 2015 at just after, uh, just after noon here. Yeah, well we left it, well we left it, uh, we left about 8. 10, didn't we? Yeah. 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 And then we ran errands. And then we ran errands. Uh, so, Paul, Paul went to his orthopedic guy here, and uh, it was a very interesting visit. Yeah. Tell them all about it, Paul. Well, they took the stuff off. <laughs> the stuff being the the took splint. that splint the slash splint. cast yeah, off. Yeah, the, sort of the half cast, yeah. X-rayed it. Told him to come back in three weeks. But in between that, that X-ray and telling you that, other things happened as well. Well, he said he was going to get me a boot to wear. I told him I had. And he said, well, can I see it? And I said, sure. So Joe went out to get yes. it. Yes, they sent me out of the room. I went down to the truck and got this thing. Uh, you know, he's always yelling, you know, don't get on this foot. They did a friendectomy. <laughs> so, I got older and I touched him on the hand as to how much, you know, like, I touch it. Just to, like, have balance when I'm on the crutch. <coughs> He says, that's perfect. So they were sitting there, and he goes, oh, by the way, he said, you can stand on this. He said, like, if you're doing dishes or shaving and brushing your teeth, he said, you can stand on that instead of trying to balance yourself no, on the scooter. No, wait a minute. Let's, 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 let's hit item number one first. Doing dishes? <laughs> doing dishes? <laughs> You did shave the other day. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, in time for the really cold air. Yeah, just in time for the really cold air. <laughs> oh, hell, it's been a while. It's been well since your injury. I think actually a couple of days before that you hadn't shaved. So, yeah. 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 Well, it's been about nine days. Sunday? Yeah, about nine days. <laughs> Sunday before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Now. Took that all off. He's gonna give me a boot. I told him I had a boot. And I said I actually wore it here. I said, but it's in the truck. 
so he said go out to get the boot and he told me that after he saw it he said something's not here oh that's well it's the tongue of the thing that wasn't there this piece I took this out because the thing was so fat this wouldn't lace over with the tongue in so I took the tongue out and then it fit and worked because I had all that gauze stuff going up the leg. So now, he said, I can wear a sock. But, I have to wear this all the time. Except for a couple times a day, take it off and move your foot around. And make sure nothing's rotting underneath there. But, I'm also supposed to wear this bed. Now, it's going to... I mean, come on people, the snow's shitty and sleep crap out, I mean, if you go outside, well you're gonna come in and you got all this shit well, all over the sole of your shoe, well, you're and you're gonna, gonna wear it to bed? You're not gonna be out, out <laughs> of this anyway, plus we've got, we've got good stiff brushes, we can brush that off, you know, and maybe the occasional wet rag, but we do. I know, and it is a semi-smooth sole, so not like I'm going to be sticking shit up in, you know, like a tread like this and wearing it to bed. <laughs> this is almost turning into a fetish video. Adventures, you know, adventures like with clumps of mud and whatever. Adventures in footwear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is mud under that damn snow down there. Hey, <laughs> get off the sidewalk. If it melts off a little, you're going to be walking on mud. <laughs> well, <laughs> in, indeed. Indeed. So, and I go back in three weeks. And they got to the x-ray again. So then, uh, there was a certain amount of adventure getting the truck out of this really tight parking space. Oh, gee. Well, the space wasn't tight. The, the, the it's the way the people the, showed up after we got well, there. Well, no, it's the distance between the roads. Uh, because if there had been enough distance between the roads, I could have easily turned out, of, you know, pulled out and, and, and turned. Right, but, but, but I, I, I couldn't do that. Uh, so I, I had to, you had to sort of, you know, try to angle in but not quite hit and then angle out a bit more. Even my truck with the there. camera on the back. Well, yeah, no, that would that would have helped considerably. Yeah, that would considerably. Well, you know, that might not be a bad. Except yours sits up a high. Would you want to try to get in that? Sure. That high? Yeah, we can do it. Well, we could do that. I suppose if you let me drive it. Sure. Okay. Well, we can try that. You don't want me to drive with this thing on my left. Foot. Well, I didn't know if you were going to try one of those left foot driving things. My sister drives with her left foot sometimes. And yeah. I knew it yeah, had, I knew it had a stroke I've done that a couple, couple of times I've <laughs> driven with her. But that's hadn't happened for a long, long time. Aunt Polly used to do that, Uncle Willard's wife. She'd drive left footed. Lord knows why. I don't know. Well, I think she, she just liked to be contrary sometimes. Yeah. Well, some people like to do that, be that way. I'm trying to remember, what leg is? That's your right leg. Oh, I'm sorry. No! The stepmother's leg screwed up. Oh, her, right oh, her knee, left? oh, her knee. Um, oh, gosh, that's a good question. I can't, I can't remember. I, I would have, let's, let me see if I can remember what I'm I would say probably her left. Yeah, because I've taken her places and it's always fun trying to get her in the yeah, truck yeah. because that leg is fixed. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's like carrying this pole. Yeah. It ain't going to yeah. flex in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was an unfortunate injury. And she's not that short. She's almost my height. Really? Is she that tall? Yeah. 
Oh, really? Yeah, she's only a couple inches shorter. I don't than remember me. her being that tall. I don't remember her being a particularly short woman, but I just remember her being a very pleasant, decent, kind woman. Yeah, uh, she's yeah. about five, 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 six, somewhere in there. Well, honey, you're you're almost six feet. I'm five eight, five well, nine. No, you're you're like five eleven. Well, you were at one point. Yeah, I was five nine at one point too, but I'm not anymore. I'm five eight. I remember one guy said, "Well, I'm going to X-ray." He says, "Come along, with my child." And I said, "Hold it, bud." I said, "I'm going to your father's oh, day." Oh, was it? Was he getting very familiar with you? I he said, "But." He says, my father is 64, and I said, I'm right behind him. <laughs> he says, said, said, you know, the guy lives is going to be 63, and I'm 60. <laughs> I'll be 61. Yeah. I said, I am old enough to be your father. I said, so don't call me my boy. We're old enough, we're old enough to be lots of guys' fathers. <laughs> Hell, we're old enough to be lots of guys' grandfathers. I know. And actually, maybe even in some cases, great-great-grandfathers. Yeah. Depending on how lively those various youngsters were or are. <laughs> so then, so then we made a Diet Coke run. Yeah. The fruits of which efforts Paul is enjoying right now. Well, first, before we did that, we stopped at the bank and Paul got some cash. Yeah, wonder they didn't have me look in the camera. Well, I know. I. Oh, well. It'd be easy to just pull up and you roll your window down or buzz your window down and give them a big grin there in their little hidey holes. Well, see, you didn't have to fold your mirrors down. I don't fuck with my mirrors once I get them adjusted. Yeah, but I do. Well, all right. Can I get down there at the other one? Yeah. And I got to clean it. Uh, Wait, there's no outside curve. Well, no, that's, yes, that's why I, that's another reason I go over to that bank. Okay. Let's see what the the yeah, other one, yeah, that's, there's, yeah. there's three the, sa the same weirdo that the designed the original Westerville post office must have designed the curbing right. at that at that bank over there in Westerville because it's it's just impossible for anything anybody in anything larger you than you gotta say, be a, really careful a, a real that. small escort or focus or fuck us or whatever that they you have. can get in through it but. Occasionally you will well, fuck up and hit well, hard. Well, and you know, <laughs> and I don't know, uh, some of these outfits, their uh, little pneumatic tube holes are too far down to reach out of a truck window. Right, because yeah. I always have, back yeah. there. And then open the door and, you know, reach around. I have to roll the window yeah. down, unhook the seat belt. Yeah, or at least unhook your seat belt. Never again, so yeah, or, you know, kind of climb out. Kind of hoist half, myself up. Half climb out the window. Yeah. <laughs> and reach down to get to yeah. the tube and hit the the launch button. Well, <laughs> so we so we made a successful run there. I went in, We went over to Walmart. I, I went in and got the stuff. And I also got some paper towels and toilet paper. And... Uh, and we got home. Oh, well, then, then I said we stopped for gas on the way home. I went around to the gas and filled it up, bought 20, 25 and a quarter gallons of uh, gasoline. But it One was, and a half a ton. No, that was, no, I filled it up, 25 and a half gallons. That's, you know, what were you on? I was down around uh, uh, one-eighth of a tank. Well, it's a 32-gallon it's a, it's a tank, but three of that's really sort of only... Yeah, only back to, up. Only to be used, <laughs> oh man, sort of stuff. Yeah, like... And that was, like, it's $2.10 a gallon, two ten a gallon. So it was, I don't know, it was like 50, uh, it was 53 bucks or something. Yeah, I need to get that in my truck before they shoot the price out. And it's usually when that damn tanker is down there. I hope... I hope the price goes up soon because I've got investments in oil commodities and oil pipelines and things and I've I've taken about a twenty thousand dollar hit on that here in the last few months. <laughs> I've been getting shit about that on my in my email. About my 
my, you know, unrealized losses. I was biting everybody in the oh, ass oh, okay. and losing oh. money okay. if they're invested in it. Well, <laughs> what goes up must come down. What goes down, you know, Ugh. doesn't necessarily have to go back up, but it generally does. Yeah, just get it down the right hole. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, the issue is timing, you know, since this is a fixed-term investment. But, uh, I knew that going in. I'm a big boy. Well, anything else here, Paul? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, there it is. We're home and warm again. Yeah, home safe out here, as uh, that guy said, uh, who wrote the memoir of being in the British Army in Burma. Yeah. Yeah. All we gotta do is get her to the mailbox between now and Sunday now and again. Yeah. Oh, let's say the next appointment then is on uh, Janu 30th. January 30th. Yes. Yeah. At 9.50, so we'll we'll try to get our behinds out of here around 9.15. Yeah, but I mean, for this week, we don't go anywhere. Well, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Stay tuned. All righty. <laughs> well, so bye bye, YouTubers. Here we'll give you, we'll give you a view of here, we'll give you a view of a, of a much happier message here. <laughs> and another view of this wonderful card. <laughs> Why you take a picture of all the Easter cards? <laughs> Alrighty, bye bye guys.